Good morning, everyone. It is 6.19. Um, it's very dark still this morning. Elsa is making her way up the coastline and causing all sorts of flooding and trouble. And I figured on the off chance I'd put this on and something must have happened because everybody's awake and it's 3.30 in the morning over there. So interesting. Anyway, yep. Early Elsa today. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Good morning everyone. Again, it's 8.39. Pete just left. Ash is getting ready. Um, it is dark, dull. We're getting, it's pouring. It's been pouring all night. It's supposed to rain for another few hours. So there are flood warnings in effect still for the rest of the day into the middle of the afternoon. Here comes Luna. Hi Luna. Excuse me. Good morning Luna. Oh, fine. Luna doesn't want to say anything. Yeah, I didn't mention on here yesterday, I just remembered last night. Well, I remembered before, but uh, 39 years in the United States as of yesterday. July 8th, 1982. I ventured this way for one year as a nanny of three beautiful girls and then ended up staying with that family for four and a half years. And then here I am still. <laughs> Time to go home and Get my English accent back. Luna Bella, come and say hello and good morning. Luna Bella. Oh, she's walked herself into her cage. Oh, actually, she was in Pete's office. Let me go shut that door. Okay guys, I'm feeling a little fragile this morning. I don't know what it is. I thought it might have been something I ate. I've been awake since four, not feeling the best. Came down here, couldn't even have my coffee first thing. I know I've already said hello to you a couple of times, but uh, I just, I didn't know if it was something I ate. So I asked Pete if he was all right, because we had exactly the same for dinner and he said he's perfectly fine. So it's not that, but it was almost like I wanted to be ill and I couldn't be ill. You know what I mean? Like. Just rough feeling. I've got a bit of a muggy headache now, but I think that's truly, truly the humidity. I've um, just made a bacon sandwich. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, I have been able to keep, you know, I haven't been ill. I just felt like I was going to get ill. So it's just a weird feeling, isn't it, when you like teetering. Am I going to be or am I not? Anyway, I'm going to stop whining. I'm going to eat this, see how we go. Cut it into quarters like a child because I don't know how much I can eat. I'm sure I'm going to be perfectly fine. I just feel strange. A bit strange, that's all. Anyway, I'm just going to say it just in case I disappear and you never see me again. I was feeling strange on Friday morning at 9.35. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys a bit later. Hopefully. No, I will. I'll talk to you later. Okay, just took Luna out. It's nice out. It feels... I won't go as far as saying fresh, but it's definitely not that <clears throat> the minute you walk out the door. So we've got the back door open. See if we can get a bit of air in here. It's nice and breezy at the moment. The sun is shining, blue skies. It's amazing how a, mo a month, <laughs> how a, a day, a day, not a month, of rain can just like make you go. <clears throat> anyway, um, Ash is going to Target after work. She wants me to go with her and I, Instead of saying yes, like I always do, and then have to say, oh, sorry, I'm going to have to just see how I am, because she won't be home till about 20 past seven. Um, we'll see. Pete will be here, so it'll be a good time to go. We'll have to put Luna in her cage. Yes, you. She's come around the corner like, who, me? I would have to change, though, because I'm not comfortable in my skin today, Luna. Just had some watermelon. It was delicious. Um, I fell asleep for about an hour. Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. Oh, I like that. Um, I fell asleep for about an hour, just sitting up, but with my head back. I was exhausted, but there again, like I said, I kept waking up in the night and then I've pretty much been awake since four, so I needed it. Apart from that, nothing else has happened. It's quite quiet. Pete got delivery, the mail hasn't come yet. 
about time for some lunch. Luna's now laying on the kitchen floor. It's nice having the window up. She was laying on the back deck, she didn't want to come in. So when I came back up, I thought, well, I got the door open, she's right there. And I was looking at her and she was just looking through the things at what was going. There's no one outside, so there's nothing to look at, but she's just like looking around. Then I went, last time I just went to the door, she decided to come back in. She loves to be outside. Hopefully she'll get some park time this weekend. If the rain stays off and everything dries out nicely. Right, Luna Bella. All right, guys. Oh, I'll talk to Luna out for the umpteenth time. She still won't go. She just wants to chase squirrels and she's too strong. So I was sitting on a pile of um, blocks that we had that Pete was using when he was doing the uh, deck last year. So I was sitting on those. So that way she couldn't pull me off my feet at least. I had this firm grip. Anyway, she won't come in now. She's on the back deck. Pete's on his way home. He's grabbing fish and chips, which is amazing. Um, Ash is now, we're not gonna go to Target. She changed her mind, which was good. Cause I was like, Ash. And she's like, no, I've changed my mind. Don't worry about it. Um, she's gonna go to Queens after all. Now we have a hurricane warning in effect for surrounding areas. I don't know us, um, hopefully not because right now the sun is shining, the skies are bright blue, the clouds are puffy and white, and it's absolutely, it's hot, but the humidity is only at 60, so it's not as wet the air, it's like just hot, hot. Let's see, oh, she's, oh, she's sitting up, it's so cute, she? You're lounging. Hmm? Are you lounging? Okay, the sirens. Still hot in it, Luna, but just not humid. But yeah, it's beautiful. Right. Well, now I look silly crouching to nothing. I wish we had this deck when Luna, uh, Louie, and Roxy were alive. They could have spent more time outdoors. And like you spoiled one. Oh, bye. My <laughs> cheek. Luna. Luna. Oh, you monkey. She's a bugger. But yeah, it's nice. Fix your ear. You good? Luna. Where's Ash? Where's Pete? Where's Pete? You see him? Where Pete? Is he coming home? Is he coming home? All right, guys, I'm going to end it because um, there's going to be one of two things happening after dinner. Pete will take Luna around the block for a walk or Pete will go on the boat. Now he could say it's too windy for the boat, but you may just want to go sit out there seeing as it's a Friday night. Um, I don't know, so. I don't think he'll take Luna with him tonight if he does go on the boat, even though she hasn't been lately. Now she's got her life jacket and everything. But um, that's it. So I'm gonna end the vlog so I can start um, editing it and get it up so it's ready to go up. I think what I'm doing, I think I'm ending them too early, even though I'm going to end this one early, but I know I'm not doing anything else. I think what I'm going to start doing is editing them and getting them up for 11 o'clock our time. So that way they are there for the next morning for anyone in England or other countries. I know you all wait with bated breath. I know, I know, I know you don't. Um, but I think that's what I'm going to start doing because I'm stressing myself to get them up for 6 p.m. and I don't know why I do that because especially on a Friday who's coming home to watch someone else's boring day like if it was an exciting vlog it'd be a different story but um, I think what I do is start getting them up for 11 that way I'm not rushing them I'm not feeling harassed I can video up until about seven eight o'clock then depending on what I'm doing instead of putting bits in the next one but I'm gonna put my ice cream in right here that I had last night that was delicious dessert that is a unicorn Klondike 
cone and it was delicious. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go enjoy my dinner when it comes and then get changed, go upstairs. That lady never came again today. So I have to drop her a little note and um, that's it. So I hope you've all had a wonderful Friday, whatever it is you did today. I hope it was a good one and we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Take care, guys, and stay safe.